its production and in this video i'll share with you the answers of mathematics paper one of uh, 2019 and this first paper question was gc first paper don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you want me to do any solutions for any past paper for grade 4, make sure you leave your comment down the comment section. So, the first question reads, simplify 4 minus 2 open bracket B minus A close bracket minus 1. So for me to simplify this equation, first of all, I'm going to open up the brackets. So I'll say 4, negative 2 multiplied by b, that's negative 2b. Negative 2 multiplied by negative a, that's positive 2a minus 1. Then I'll collect the like terms. So I'll say 2a minus 2b. Then I'll say positive 4 minus 1. So I'll say 2a minus 2b, positive 4 minus 1, that's positive 3. So that's the answer to question 1. Question 2. Question 2 reads, evaluate this term. The fourth root of h1 to the power 3. So the fourth root of h1, that's 3, to the power 3. Then this means 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. The answer is 27. Then question 3. Question 3 reads, factorize completely this expression 32x squared minus 50. So for me to factorize this uh, expression, first of all, I need to find the number that can go into 32x squared and 50. So that number is 2. So I'll say 2. 2 into 32 x squared that's 16 x squared minus 50 divided by 2 that's 25 so I'll say 2 uh, open bracket then 16 can be broken down into 4 squared I'll write down my x squared minus 25 can be broken down into 5 squared so this will be 2 open bracket. I know that this expression inside the bracket is the difference of 2 squared. So this will be 2x. Uh, this will be uh, 4x plus 5. Then 4x minus 5. This is the answer. Then coming to question 4. Question 4 reads, find the gradient of the line which passes through open bracket negative 5, comma 3 and negative 4, comma 1. So I'm required to find the gradient of the line that is passing through this point, negative 5, comma 3 and negative 4 comma 1 so I'll write the formula that is used to find gradient gradient is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 then I'm going to write my x1 my y1 and my x2 and my y2 or these are points so this is my x1 this is my y1 this is my x2, this is my y2. So gradient is equals to my y2 is 1 minus my y1 is 3. 
Then my x2 is negative 4. My x1, that's negative 5. So I put my negative 5 into the brackets. So I say gradient is equals to 1 minus 3, that's negative 2 over negative 4. Negative multiplied by negative, that's positive 5. Gradient is equals to negative 2 over negative 4 plus 5, that's 1. The gradient of this uh, line is negative 2. Then my fifth question is, it reads, the Venn diagram below shows three sets, A, B, and C. In this form, in this form. A, B, C. Then the question reads, use set notation to describe the shaded region. So the shaded region, this means A union B complement intersection C. Since the set A and set B are not shaded, this means A union B complement intersection C. This part is the one that is only shaded.